cataractcoach.com toric evovision ICL phagic implant. So you can address high myopia and corneal astigmatism with this phagic lens. Now here's loading of the lens. And so the lens is made of a polymer material. It's very, very thin, very delicate. And so you have to load a very particular way here. So you can see the lens has these four foot plates. This is placed into this injector now. And then special forceps are going to be used to actually pull the lens into the injector. So those long forceps go in the tip of the injector, go inside, grab it, and then you can pull the lens. You just can't push it because it's too thin or flexible. It'll actually distort. So now, here we go. Here's our patient making a paracentesis and another paracentesis. And remember, this patient has the markings on the cornea for this, the axis where you're going to orient the toric ICL. So a little anesthetic can go inside the eye. There's some HPMC. Again, that's hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose. That's the preferred viscoelastic sold in the USA as Occucote. Get a nice fill of viscoelastic here. Um, you get relatively loose. And now let's see the main incision here. Here comes the main incision. And so the toric ICL is now already loaded. And you just place it in the eye. And you'll see the lens has toric marks. And you're going to line that up with the marks that you've made there on the cornea. Now, there's good planning software available from the company that helps you decide, decide how to choose the correct power, correct toricity, also how to choose the correct sizing. And so this is going in nice and easy. You can see it's folded up just appropriately there as it unfolds. You can even get those um, four tabs in under the iris right off the bat if you'd like. The surgeon here looks like it's placing it um, a, yeah, very nicely done. And now you can put a little more viscoelastic, make sure you have plenty of room. And now let's get all four of those corners tucked in. So using this instrument here, the surgeon's going to just tuck them in nice and easy one at a time. There's one. And there are a couple more. Now, if you look carefully on YouTube, you'll find a video from me, maybe about 15 or 18 years ago, where I show you how I can put the ICL in and get it appropriately placed with just the injector, no other manipulation needed. So obviously more uh, techniques are available. And now here at the end, pupil came down a little bit, probably put in some myotic agent, now a little bimanual IA. A little pearl here when you do the bimanual IA. Get the infusion higher than you think it's going to be, just a little bit more. You don't want this AC to flatten out at all. And then you can see this also is the newest Evo version. There's a central um, opening in that optic, so you do not need to make a peripheral iridotomy, and you still have great flow of aqueous. And the incidence of cataract is much, much lower with this latest version. So I want uh, to say this is a neat product, and I hope to start using it more in my own practice. And this may be a great option for patients who want reversibility. Think about that. And remember, a new podcast every single week, including the one coming up soon with Zaldivar, talking about how do you choose a sizing, his AI calculator, and what's the accuracy, and just such great pearls to learn. Let's learn together.